Are the functions graphed below one to one? All right, so looking at the graphs, you can tell if they're one to one if they pass something called the horizontal line test. And the horizontal line test is just like the vertical line test that we ran for functions. And those tests basically involve the idea of running either vertical lines or horizontal lines through a graph and looking to see how many times the lines intersect the graph. So if you remember with the vertical line test, it was basically the idea that something was a function if when you ran vertical lines through the graph, the lines did not intersect the graph in more than one place, right? So in other words, the line should intersect the graph in at most one place. It's the same exact test for the horizontal line test, except for the lines are now horizontal. In order for a function to be one to one, when you run the line through the horizontal line through the graph, you wanna make sure that those lines do not intersect the graph in more than one place. If they do, then that would imply that the function is not one to one. So look at our first example here, this parabola looking graph, right? If I run, horizontal lines through it, I can see it fails the test right away. Here are two intersections. We're only allowed to have one intersection for a one-to-one -one test, so it means that this is not a one-to-one -one function. All right, if you wanted to make it a one-to-one -one function, you could basically do that by getting rid of half of the function. In other words, if you were to, for example, get rid of that left half of the parabola, then when you ran your horizontal lines through the function, you would see that it would only intersect the function in exactly what? One place, right? And so then it would pass the test. You'd have to restrict the domain, in other words. You'd have to make sure that you were only using the x values on one half of the curve. If you used the full graph, it would fail the test. So as the graph was given to us, we actually intersected the graph in two places for most of those horizontal lines. Okay, let's look at the second graph though. For the second graph, if I run horizontal lines through it, it actually seems to be fine, right? We will intersect the graph in exactly one place for every single line we run. It may look like this graph over here is going horizontal at some point, in which case you would intersect it at an infinite number of places, but it actually never goes horizontal. It approaches the x-axis asymptotically, actually. So it'll always be dropping slightly, and that means that a horizontal line would only pierce it in exactly one place, or no places if you ran, for example, a horizontal line down here, for example, right? But it won't intersect it in more than one place, and that's what's important. So we would say that this graph passes the horizontal line test, therefore it is one-to-one. -one. Now the significance of this is that if a function is one-to-one, -one, you can find an inverse for the function. Or in other words, if the function is one-to-one, -one, the function has an inverse.